everybody, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I'm here with my monthly stamping for scrapbookers layout, and this is going to be like a quick and easy one, which I totally love incorporating stamping into an like quick and easy design. And so I'm playing around with this new Echo Park Witches and Wizards collection, which totally has this like Harry Potter vibe. And so I'm using the stamp set that comes with this particular collection as the theme this month for our stamping with scrapbookers is pop culture. And so I thought it'd be really fun to play around with some Harry Potter things. So I have a photo of Ty, my youngest son, um, when we were at Universal Studios in California. And it's just him in front of the Hogwarts Express. And so I have a ton of pages and layouts coming um, from like his day there. So there's a lot of other pictures that kind of go along with this. This is just one of them. And this is from when we went on our Ty and Mom trip. And so this is going to be like an entire little section of his album. So what I've went ahead and done is made a background of my own. And so I've kind of pieced it together on a piece of white cardstock because I didn't want to lose the other half of any of these patterns. So I've got that mustard like lightning bolt paper at the top and then I put a blue plaid in the middle and then like that kind of crimsony red color at the bottom. And so I'm just kind of pulling those colors from my photo itself. And now this is where I'm going to take my stamp set and I'm going to kind of spice up this pattern paper at the top. So this technique works a lot better if you use kind of a subtle pattern paper. But I am basically just going to add a whole bunch of stamping. So I'm pulling a ton of the little tiny icons from this collection's like stamp set. And so the ones that look kind of like X's are little magical wands. And I'm using Juniper Mist, which is like a navy blue. So I'm kind of pulling in the blue from that pattern paper for that. And I'm using this little like mini star stamps. So one is an open star and one is a like filled in star. So I've got those. I've got some phrases. I'm going to keep going with adding more and more. And so I'm not really following like the rule of thirds. I'm kind of trying to cluster my stamping. And you'll see that more as I keep growing them that I'm kind of keeping things more in clusters. But I'm not sticking with just three. So I'm just kind of creating a random addition to my pattern paper up at the top. So then I'm just going to continue adding more and more different stamps. So I've got this 100% magic and then I wanted to use this little sorting hat stamp but I didn't want it because it's bigger to be overwhelming. So what I did instead is I grabbed a stamp pad that is the same color as the background paper. So I'm using this mustard color and adding in all of those sorting hats to all of my like stamping clusters. And then I have a bunch that kind of go off the page as well. And that adds some subtle extra like images and texture, really finishes off the stamping. You can see it a lot better in the close up pictures than you can kind of in this bigger view. But then I went ahead and took this three by four card um, that's kind of meant to go with the Hogwarts Express. It says Riding the Train. So that's going to kind of serve as my title. And I've backed it with a little bit of white cardstock just to help it pop up off the page. And I also took my notebook edge stamp and added just a little bit of texture by using that punch on the edge. And so now I'm going through the two embellishment packs that come with this collection just to find any pieces that I want to use so that I can layer up a little bit of embellishing. So I'm basically going to have three embellishment clusters. So I have this one going like towards the bottom right of my photo. And then I'm also going to add a little cluster on the top left of my photo. So when I'm putting clusters around my photo like that, I like to have them on like opposite diagonal sides. So if I'm going with the bottom right, then I'm going with the top left and vice versa. And then I'm also going to have a cluster that I build down in the very bottom corner on the right hand side. So that's going to kind of finish that visual triangle. It's also going to keep everything on a nice diagonal. So on the sticker sheet, there is a set of suitcases, and it's the same size as a set of suitcases on that 3x4 card. So I'm going to go ahead and take it and add some foam adhesive to the back of it and put it right on top of that image from the card. And it's going to make those suitcases look three-dimensional. That little white sticker border around the outside of them really makes them pop off the page in that little area, and I like super love how that looks. 
So then I went ahead and found a few other little stickers that I wanted to use, but I went but I went and put them on white cardstock because I wanted to also pop those up off the page. So if it was a die cut, I obviously wouldn't need that particular step, but because I want to use some of the stickers as die cuts, I'm just putting them on white cardstock. And you could also use a powder tool if you wanted to to get that same kind of effect. So I want to have this little Hogwarts Express down here in the bottom but I don't want the whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of have it trailing off the edge of the page and I'm just gonna trim the extra. And then I created a little shelf with that yellow lightning bolt paper to kind of put everything on. And so then I'm gonna go ahead and build an embellishment cluster down there as well. So that's where, again, we're finishing off that like strong diagonal line. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a few enamel dots to each one of the clusters. I also take some of that gold thread and add little nests of thread um, behind the popped up elements in each of my clusters. And you can see that a lot better in the close-ups as well. But that's basically gonna do it. So I kept this one pretty simple and just used my stamping to alter that pattern paper just to make it a little bit more fun and interesting. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my take on pop culture stamps and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.